Brett Baer and Martha McCallum tracking all your Super Tuesday election results. Brett and Martha, thank you so much for kind of sticking with us for a few minutes here. Martha, to you first. I saw you talking to the panel all night long. I'm curious, what was your big takeaway of the night? What did you what did you find surprising as the night went on? Well, Trace, I think if you rewound a few years, a lot of people would not have expected that we would be where we are tonight. And it is a, an incredible political comeback story mm -hmm. for anybody who covers politics or watches all of this. I think we are witnessing something extraordinary. I also think that when you look at the mix of voters and how it's shifting in the country, you look at the increase in Hispanic and black votes um, that it, it appears mm -hmm. we're seeing in some of these categories, we're, we're watching something that is a very dynamic in this country. And you're also watching a reaction to three years and we'll see how it goes. But it looks like the people are getting the matchup that, you know, some people said they didn't want. But the gravity is clearly behind these two candidates right now. Yeah, they are. And you look at what President Trump did tonight, Brett, and you kind of think I was, I was just listening to Trey Gowdy earlier talking about, you know, maybe the possibility of a Reagan mandate. You know, if this thing goes the way that he was talking about, was that a, a surprising comment? Because Martha's right. We see some of these polls, the Hispanic voters, the black voters, the, you know, the, the things that the Biden administration is doing right and wrong and the wrong numbers are always much higher. What do you think about that kind of analysis, Brett? Yeah, listen, we're going to see how these months go. We are eight months from the day from the general election. That is a long time. It's the longest general election we will ever have seen mm -hmm. in our lifetime up till now. Uh, I will say this. To Martha's point, it is a remarkable political comeback. Think of how many things have been thrown at former President Trump. Think about mm -hmm. how many legal cases he still has yet to fight. He's, you know, how many charges he's facing. And in the wake of that, he is getting overwhelming re response from voters, not just, you know, a different coalition of voters. You were talking mm -hmm. about, in some cases, uh, Reagan Democrats. These are union workers who have decided they want to vote for Donald Trump in some of these yeah. primaries. He has defeated all of his challengers, and if you look back two years, we would not have predicted this day. You would have said, yeah. this is going to be Governor Ron DeSantis. This is going to be somebody else besides former President Trump. Speaking of that, somebody else, Martha, you have Nikki Haley on your show uh, quite a bit. You kind of know what, what she's been going through and thinking. What do you think after tonight? She has clearly not going to speak tonight. She has no plans or events through tomorrow. Do you think Nikki Haley is, is done or does she keep going? You know what? There's no doubt that they're in an evaluation phase at this moment. I mean, the numbers are what they are. She always said that she wanted to allow many states to weigh in before she would get out of this race or consider getting out of this race. I think after tonight, those become very concrete issues to deal with. Uh, she's lost some of her financial backing in recent weeks as well, and she needs to yeah. evaluate where she wants to be as a candidate and what she wants her political future to look like. But I think enough people on the panel tonight um, gave her a lot of credit. She's the, the she, yep. no woman has ever gotten farther in the Republican presidential process than she has. And she watched a lot of the fellows, as she likes to say, fall by the wayside. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I, I think she deserves a lot of credit for fighting a good fight here. Yeah. And, and lastly to you, Brett, uh, the president's, the former president's speech tonight, uh, some called it conciliatory, some called it subdued. What would you call it? It was a soft touch by the former president. He was, uh, it was not the traditional firebrand kind of uh, mm -hmm. going after a number of different targets. Uh, he was giving his assessment of where his administration was and how bad he thinks the situation is now. I, mm. I think there was probably, you know, a possibility to have a dismount that maybe was on a teleprompter, that we talked about that with the panel, you know, where, where there was this soundbite. Um, but maybe that was his pitch. You know, he does things yeah. a lot off the cuff. And uh, this was an off the cuff speech, probably from the heart, uh, to his supporters in Mar-a-Lago. I will say this. Nikki Haley, no matter what happens after today, will have some people on the convention floor in Milwaukee from yeah. Vermont and from the District of Columbia who will nominate her for the presidency of the United States. And uh, we'll see what happens to her campaign after this. Yeah, Brett, uh, Martha, and your panel, exceptional work as always. Thank you for coming on the show. We very much appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.